So now that the new Crossfire Diversity receiver is available, uh, people are starting to use it. I uh, have uh, put one in this, uh, this my first build with uh, the Crossfire Diversity. So a lot of people have asked how uh, I mount the antennas. And so this is, um, uh, of course, the Immortal T up here in the front. Uh, that one is uh, the extended version so that it'll reach the um, receiver, which I mounted in here in the center. I'll show you that. And then the rear is a, a custom, uh, basically an extended uh, crossfire, uh, the basic antenna you know, with an extension so that it uh, it can reach the uh, receiver. So that's uh, these are the two antennas, the uh, video antenna here, and then uh, down here this is the uh, GPS. So. This is a TPU mount. I'll uh, leave a link in the description for where you can get that on Thingiverse, as well as the uh, tray in here. So the first thing, when you um, you need to work on the uh, stack or you need to get under here, uh, I'll show you how this comes apart, and then we can show you how the um, antenna is uh, mounted in here. So we take off the top tray, and then we'll... So I mounted the receiver above the uh, flight controller and um, that's basically what it seems to be the best location when you're going to use uh, two antennas, but of course there's always other ways. So this um, basically you take the uh, front and rear off, front and rear screws off, out of there. And then the uh, the tray uh, basically uh, cut a little a little uh, notch in there so the antenna can come through that. Okay, so now we've got the uh, um, tray tray off, and we take off the uh, video antenna with the SMA connector. It just pops out of there, and then uh, you can take the uh, disconnect the GPS. And then the uh, antenna is on an antenna tube, and that basically just pulls out of the uh, of the fitting. So now you've got the uh, the housing. Set that aside, or the antenna holder. So this is the antenna, basically uh, an antenna tube, and then a shrink wrap to hold the antenna onto the antenna tube. And so that takes care of that. And then we want to take the, uh, we want to remove the whole, let's say we needed to remove the whole antenna, I mean the whole uh, receiver array to get to something in here. So we'll just take off the, uh, the Immortal T antenna. And next, so this is the tray that I printed. And again, that's a, a link down to that uh, STL file will be down in the description. Um, the tray uh, basically holds the uh, Crossfire Diversity receiver and it's upside down so the, it's basically just flipped over. So you'll see that here in a second. So this is uh, the, the, uh, the tray. Okay, and so I glue the antenna down right here with hot glue so it uh, doesn't move, so we just uh, move that out of the way. So now we got the uh, whole. Uh, once we disconnect the crossfire from that plug right there, now the whole uh, the whole array is out. So there's our full crossfire diversity with uh, the two antennas and shrink wrapped and so with the mount I made a little uh, it, a little uh, piece that sticks out here so you can shrink wrap the antenna to keep it from moving around because it's uh, the only way to make it reach is to, uh, you can't loop it up here so it just had to go straight out so there's a little uh, uh, fit piece on this uh, printed part there that lets you uh, basically um, put a shrink, shrink wrap on there and that holds it 
in place. So the antennas aren't coming off the uh, UFL connectors are, are pretty good. So that's how that mounts on the uh, flight controller. The flight controller is still, you know, it's, I don't think it's affected by it. It's uh, really well dampened and everything else. So anyway, so that's the, the setup. And then to put it back together is basically, obviously, just the reverse. But uh, the antenna, I, I mean, the, uh, the, way, the reason I mounted it upside down, you can mount it right side up, but upside down, that, that, this way, uh, nothing's gonna catch on the battery straps if you, put, uh, if you have a couple battery straps in here. So by keeping it uh, facing down, you know, you keep it away from from the uh, battery straps, and that's that was uh, that was one of the things I wanted to uh, avoid was snagging things with the battery straps. So anyway, so that is basically it goes back together like that. Um, I still this is my uh, beeper. I basically just hot glue that to the to the graphite bottom plate, and it just points out through the hole in the bottom, and that that's worked well for me on these frames. So. What I do is basically uh, hot glue the wires of the buzzer down, and so that hot glue I'll use that to uh, as an extra uh, security for that antenna. So anyway, so the bat, the reverse, uh, put it all back together. That's my solution for the Diversity Crossfire receiver. Thanks for watching and happy flying.